Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share how I made this doormat using freezer paper as a stencil and black flex seal. I loved using this method and had so much fun making this for the fall. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe, it's free, and if you hit the bell, you won't miss any of my videos. And first, I will show you how I put this together in Cricut Design first, Space. I'm going to upload my SVG for my doormat, so I'll click on Uploads. If you've watched my last couple of videos, you've probably seen that I've started up a Patreon account. This helps support my channel. I'm trying to get more videos out, but I also wanted to give out some perks for patrons that are supporting me. So I have somebody that I'm working with who is creating these hand-drawn SVGs, and this is one of the hand-drawn SVGs that is in the Google Drive for patrons. So I'll have all that information linked below if you want to check it out and I have two tiers available if you want to see what they are. My doormat is 16 and a half inches by 23 inches, so I basically just want to make this as big as I can make it. The only thing is with the Cricut mats, you can only make it as big as 12 inches by 24. There's a process where you can make it bigger using the off the mat process, but I'm not going to use that in this video. I'm just going to make this as big as I can make it. And let me show you if I try to make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to hit attach so you can see this. So if I try to make it bigger, it'll come up with this exclamation mark that says that it needs to be 11 and a half by 23 and a half. So I am just going to go over here and make it 11 and a half. And as you can see here, there's a whole bunch of different layers. So what you want to do is click attach like I just did so that it will show up like this on the make it screen. So that's basically all that you have to do is make sure you have it sized and have it all attached. Then click on make it. This is just telling us that we need a larger mat for this. So I'll click OK. We'll also want to mirror our design. So I'll click mirror. Since this is going to be a stencil, I want there to be space around this as much as possible. So I am just going to bring this down a little bit. Then there will be some more room up here. Now I'll hit continue. For the material, I'm going to choose browse all materials. And I'm going to look for parchment paper even though we're using freezer paper. I don't think there's a freezer paper option. I might just check it though. Oh, there is. <laughs> So I'm going to use the freezer paper, so I'll select that and hit done. I'll show you how I make this on my machine. Here is the freezer paper that I'm going to be using as my stencil. I open up the freezer paper and set it shiny side up on the Cricut mat. Unfortunately, I only have the green 12 by 12 mat. If I had the blue light grip mat, I definitely would have used that instead because this is a very thin material. I used my scraper tool to make sure it was completely flat on the mat. As you can see, I have a new Cricut machine. I am completely obsessed with it. I bought the Cricut Maker and I am in love. I can't wait for even more projects with the Maker. After the Cricut cuts out the design on the freezer paper, I take my weeding tool and weed out the letters. I weed out the inside of the design because it's going to be used as a stencil. This was the tricky part, trying to get the paper off of the mat, especially since I'm using the standard grip mat. I just took my time getting it off and I used my spatula tool to help me some. I needed to slowly do this to prevent the paper from ripping, so it took me a little while, but after this project I decided I need to invest in a 12 by 24 blue mat. Transfer paper will not work for this project, so I left the inside of the letters on the mat and added them in later. I set my Easy Press on and set it to 315 degrees at 5 seconds. I grabbed my doormat. I bought this when we were on vacation and went to Ikea. I wish I would have grabbed more because I believe it was only $4.99, but you can also buy these at Target or Home Depot for around $10, and I believe the dimensions were 16 by 23 for the Ikea mats. I placed the freezer paper shiny side down on the doormat. 
The paper will be rolled up a little, but I try to center my design as best as I could. Then I place my Easy Press on top. It really is amazing how this sticks the paper to the mat and straightens it out. This doesn't stick it extremely well, so you will have to be careful if you try to move the mat, but it is pretty amazing how this works. Next, I take the inside of the letters and these I decided to use push pins. If you have sewing pins, those would probably work better, but these ended up working for me. My camera ended up dying, so I thought I filmed all of this, but I added the rest of the centers of the letters. Then I cut strips of freezer paper and heated those on the outside of the design. Since I'm using a spray, I didn't want to get black on any of the rest of the rug, so this ended up working really well. I'm using black Flex Seal to spray onto the doormat. I'm also really sorry for the awful shadows in this video, but I took my mat outside and sprayed the flex spray. I didn't shake it up good at first, so make sure you shake it up really good. I sprayed it directly over the letters and made sure it was coated really well. One center piece lifted up a little, so I had to place that back on the mat. I let it sit for maybe 10 minutes. Even though the flex seal dries really fast, it was definitely still wet, but I was too excited to wait to take the stencil off. I put on some gloves and started taking off the freezer paper. This is by far my favorite part of the project, seeing how it turned out. I was so excited with how well the flex seal worked and with how it turned out. I'm using Chiron UV resistant clear spray to help protect this from fading. I can check back with you guys in a few months and comment in the description box to let you know how this is holding up. Our front yard is extremely sunny as you can tell, so hopefully this will do a good job by protecting it from fading and from the sun. Don't forget to check out my Patreon page if you would like to join and get images like this one. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you're new to my channel and have a great day.